Hi Paul, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. Um, we're looking at the objections to the resurrection of Christ and one of the objections which I mentioned but didn't fully uh, expand on is this idea that the Bible is allegory. And a lot of uh, postmodern scholars and a lot of sceptical scholars will try and encourage people to see the Bible as allegory. And they use as an argument, they take Christians who believe that, that the Bible's allegory. And they pit them against the Christians who believe the Bible is history. And they say, look, you Christians who believe the Bible is history, you are being fundamentalist because there are Christians who believe the Bible is allegory. The fact is the Bible is allegory and history. There are books in the Bible such as uh, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, uh, 1 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles, which is clearly history. It's not parable, it's not allegory. But then there are allegorical uh, parts of the Bible. So for example, uh, the Song of Solomon, My Beloved is Mine, is a story about uh, a king and a maiden and their love for each other. And, it, and it's a parable about what love is. So... The point is, is to take each book of the Bible in its historical and genre context and you'll find whether that text is historical or allegorical. And what the opponents of the Bible are doing is they're classifying every book of the Bible as allegorical. And that's clearly not correct. If you look at each book of the Bible in its genre context, there are many books of the Bible that are about history and purport to be historical okay and that is uh, can be seen in Genesis the whole book of Genesis is not a book that is presented to you as an allegory it is a book presented to you as real history okay so I'll leave you with that, uh, that uh, thought about allegory so Christians uh, the argument goes like this, the BioLogos uh, Christian scholars uh, who were pounding this out, it kind of goes like this, look, we BioLogos, we, that's what they're called, BioLogos, they have a, a channel, uh, they're very sophisticated scholars, very, very sophisticated, top-notch scholars, and, and they've come across like this, and, and the sceptics come across, we're sophisticated, we're educated, we we look at things in a sophisticated scholarly way and you know we read the Bible and it's not historical if you use your intelligence and read the context it's about allegory that is sophisticated nonsense okay if you study the Bible in its genre and in its context you will find many parts of the Bible clearly are about real history okay there are parabolic and allegorical passages as well, but there is a whole lot of history. The Old Testament, all of it generally is, uh, the, the core of it is about the history of the Jewish people, for example. The New Testament uh, Gospels are about the life of Christ. Okay, So, I'll leave that with you uh, for you to deal with. Thank you.